Hey everybody, this is Jessica and I hope you're having a great week and um, I just wanted to introduce you to my new collection, Frosted and Frozen, and um, it's something I've been working on for a little while now and I just, I stayed up last night because I just had to get it out, no more, one more day, one more day, but I'm really excited about it and uh, I plan to do a lot of good tutorials and just a lot of good stuff in the works. But um, first of all, just to like give you a little tour, this is uh, obviously it's inspired by the movie Frozen and you know that's so popular right now and with winter um, I just thought it would be a really great inspiration for a collection. So I've got all these glittery frosty um, ice kind of styles. So this is my front image. I've got some uh, nice samples here and I just try to show like all the different things that you can do with it. Um, whether you're designing like a winter advertisement or a header for a website or you do invitations um, or you know cutesy things you know I kind of wanted to show that you can use it for all different kinds of stuff. And so these are some samples and then here I've got um, a little display image. And I've got all the different brushes, so I made some really fun snowflake brushes. And everything's really sharp and kind of frosty and frozen inspired. And uh, so those are the brushes. They're really they're dynamic, you know, Photoshop brushes. And here is just a little quick preview of all the different styles. And of course, like my other ones, I made them quite large so that you can. Uh, scale them down if you want but if you're using it for a big background or something it's going to be a proper size so um, this is all the different collections and I kind of tried to group them together I've got a real deep ones I call them glacially deep and of course you know you can put these in any color um, arctic crystals kind of a liquid thing icy sequins shimmering snows sparkling frosts and some iridescent icicles and this collection was just a little bit different. Um, it's kind of a, the other collections are so enormous. On this one, I thought I'd try something different and give you both the Illustrator and the Photoshop version together. And on both of the Illustrator and Photoshop um, versions, I put a swatch file in there. So you've got these um, colors inspired by the movie right there at your hands. And looking on um, Pinterest, I'm surprised that there wasn't already, you know, there's so many color palettes. I was surprised that there wasn't uh, a bunch, there was like two small little color palettes for Frozen. But so I just took a bunch of images and pulled colors and tried to make sense of it. So I've got a nice little swatch thing there. And all these great styles. And on this one, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I thought rather than the actions, I would just do some one-click styles and see how that goes. Although I may end up updating it and putting actions in as well because I really like those. But this is kind of like meant to be a real nice turnkey solution for, you know, very specific kind of look for winter, frosted. Um, later on, I'm going to do some tutorials and show you. I love um, the effect of putting some of these over photos. And this one is dark, but some of the ones also that are frosted, they like make great um, accents for photos. And um, also I threw in, in case you haven't seen my Creative Couture collection, there is a few um, sample swatches from there. But in, I wanted to let everybody know about that in case they hadn't seen it yet. But Creative Couture is um, just an amazing collection. I haven't been able to do as many displays as I want. But uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's huge. It's um, all these styles, of course, with the effortless actions that I give. And you can do them in any color. And um, I just, I really think it's even better than Instagram. And you can also do them in rich gold. So you've got rich glitters and sequins, iridescent overlays, paves, metal mixes, caviars, textiles, um, and the list goes on and on. So if you haven't checked out Creative Couture yet, check it out. I really love that collection. Um, and I actually used some of those uh, some of those styles in, with new images to make these new styles for um, Frozen. So that's enough tour. I usually end up taking too long on these anyway. But uh, basically what you want to do is 
load all of the presets that I gave you and uh, I show you how to do that in other versions um, in other videos but uh, you load up your patterns um, you load up there's a couple actions you load up your styles and then you load up your swatches and so if you load all that up you've got your swatches here so they're really handy and you've got all those nice colors from the movie um, you've got your patterns in here and you've got your styles so basically I just wanted this to be a real quick turnkey solution um, for people that are wanting these kind of styles so here I've got some text and I've got my styles here and I have them as a list so they're easy to see and I just click on one of my styles and bam that's that um, super easy and you can always resize them just dump it's a pattern overlay so you double click on the pattern overlay you can change the scale make it smaller in case the style is too big um, and also maybe you want these in another color so to deal with that what I did was at the top there is five different ones if you want a quick color so say I know I want this in a um, a fuchsia so I'll go I'll click the fuchsia style and it's gonna put me the fuchsia overlay and basically all this is is a color overlay over the pattern overlay and the color overlay is set to hue but you know you can always play around with that the setting um, you can put it on color that's usually a little more intense but for this hue it looks okay and then you can just go and um, why I added not just the styles but the patterns um, because most people when they make these kits like this you know they give you the styles but they don't give you the source patterns although they're already kind of buried in there but I get I want you to load up the patterns because that way if you click on this like layer style here like okay I, I like this pink but I want to look through all the different styles in pink that way you can go here to the pattern overlay and it will show you um, all of those different patterns that you can flip through um, which other layer styles like if they just give you the layer style you won't have those kind of options so um, basically this has a pink color overlay and then I can just go through here and look at all my different layer styles and find one that I like and um, you can always use them just in their original form but that's in case you want to colorize it and um, so that's it we've got them by color up here You've got all the original different layers and stuff here. Some of these iridescents are nice and I think they really look like Disney kind of colors. Um, and one thing that I will tell you while I'm talking about this is the, uh, uh, along, just like the glam or the uh, creative coutures, the glitters, the the key with working with these and making them look good is to use them really thoughtfully you can't just put them on everything on your design and it's not going to look good the main key of like any kind of metallics or special things is to have contrast so if you have um you know if you've got a bunch of things next to each other competing it's not going to stand out but if you have enough contrast then it's going to look really good. Like say for example on these lighter ones, you know on some things you know maybe it's like a little accent you love the light but maybe on the text you know oh this doesn't show very well but if you put it on a dark background it's going to pop like crazy. So it's just all about the using the contrast and using um, and using them thoughtfully. So that's kind of the key with that and uh, so just one of those things that um, I like to point out that's the basics in Photoshop and I'm gonna make a new layer before I forget you should have loaded the brushes up and I put this as a regular ABR file so you're gonna have these different brushes here and these are all the different snowflake ones that you see in the um, on the displays and they're just easy you just get your mouse or get your uh, pen and have some fun with them and uh, then you can I really like the snow one that just really adds up 
Then you can just take your layer with the styles. And uh, I'm going to go for the Shimmering Snows. So I'm going to play with some of those. Some of them I like. They have kind of like this little um, snow drift kind of style here, which is really cool. You can see it if I added more. But that's basically it for the um, Photoshop. Oh, and we've got some nice snowflakes. So you can just have a lot of, a lot of fun with that. Play around and again you know he's sparingly so that's the Photoshop version and now let's go to the internet ver or illustrator I'm actually quite tired so this might be a little bit of a crazy tutorial I kind of stayed up last night to finish this off because I was ready to get it out the door so here I am an illustrator and basically if you don't have all these added already, I've got them added a couple times. You just uh, have your file here and you've got your swatches, but they're not here. If you're working from like another document, you just go here to your swatch panel. You can uh, load them, uh, open swatch library, other library, and then find wherever you put it. Illustrator. I put them since um there's not quite as many as some of my other collections, I put them all together in one swatch thing. But if for some reason you have like maybe less memory and you need them separated, just let me know. Um but it wouldn't fit in the zip, otherwise I would have put it in there. So basically you might have it look like this in the thumbnail view which you'll see here that I have all the different frozen colors and then all the different styles. And uh, I always like to go for the list view because that helps me see them uh, a little bit better. And if you've just got a regular object, you can click on any of the styles and bang, there you go. Now here, um, I'm gonna show you how to change the color of these um, manually it's not really that hard but this is also helpful for if you have the creative couture collection um, I wrote some actions for that that did this for you but this will explain like kind of what that action did in case you need to do it by hand or something so basically um, say I like this but I want it in pink so I've got my style and you need to make friends with your appearance panel for these raster swatches because this is where all the thing happens and it's really not difficult at all. So if you apply that style, you're going to have a fill here and you're going to have your pattern and the opacity is default. So basically all you want to do is add a new fill above that and uh, we're going to put the color. So we're just going to grab one of my, wherever it is here, one of my colors from there and the opacity will be default so it's going to just be opaque but what we want to do is with that fill selected go here and go to hue and that's it so you can change your color super easily and then you can just change it at any time so click in here and uh, you can just change that well, I guess you'd need to have it selected first. That would be useful. There you go. So that is the, um, the key to changing these colors with these raster patterns. And that's also how I do it with Creative Couture. Um, so it's just a matter of just thinking of it as two layers on top of it. Basically, you've got your pattern and then you've got your colorizing layer. And you can have that as overlay or you can have that as hue or whatever. But for this collection, I think hue usually does it. And one other thing that I'm going to show you, if you have text, you can just um, click a style and it's going to be fine. Okay, but say I need it in another color. Well, this is the key with text and being able to add a multiple, um, add those extra appearance layer um, fills. What you need to do first is, this is gonna have the appearance as type. What you need to do is just add a new fill. It's gonna make it black. 
then you put your base pattern okay so you've got that now all you simply do is add another fill and this is where you add the color so with that selected I'm going to add a pink I'm going to change the opacity to hue and now I have it in another, another color and the text is still editable so that's kind of the breakdown and something I wanted to explain before and I'll probably make another video but that's working with it in Illustrator and it's really just um, quite easy I think and all of these are the same size they're 300 dpi print great um, now if you find maybe you need to some of these are kind of uh, I'm just going to clear the appearance on this okay I keep okay instead of clearing it I am oh there we go duplicating it not handy so say I have one of these patterns and I'm like okay I like this but it's too big for this object if you need to transform patterns on um, Illustrator just go to transform and scale them and instead of scaling the objects transform patterns and then you can put it at uh, a smaller percentage like 50% and hit OK and then it will be nice and more refined so I, I wanted to make these patterns really um, big in case you want to use them on bigger things but all you have to do is scale them down if you're using it on something very delicate so that is the tutorial for Frozen and I'm going to have it on special super special because it includes both Photoshop and Illustrator um, swatches patterns whatever you want to call them for probably through Tuesday that's about it so I hope you enjoy it and everybody that loves Frozen I hope that they get it all right and please um, sign up for my email list I won't spam you but in a day or two I should have a new website where I'm going to have one spot where you can find all my latest videos in order all my latest tutorials all my latest tips and so i'm going to have it all in one spot because as i said before like i don't want to just sell you the product i want to help you get the most out of it so sometimes people might see some display image that i have and be like oh i like that but i can't get that effect so basically since i made these products I really want to support them and help you get the best use out of them. So anyway, enjoy and I'll talk to you soon.